What's up guys, it's Justin here. Today I've got a video comparing some battery packs at different price points, starting at $1 and ranging up to $3,000. So it's almost the summertime and I know a lot of you are going to be hanging out with your friends, going to the beach, maybe going on vacation, and you're gonna want something to keep your phone charged up during the day because if you're like me, you gotta get those Snapchats and Snapchat loves to kill the battery of your phone and also your data plan. So in this video, I have a total of four batteries that are ranked from lowest to highest in price, beginning with a $1 power bank that I picked up on eBay, an Anchor PowerCore Speed 10,000, the Nomad Advanced Trackable Power Pack, and also a pink generic 12,000 power bank, which I found listed on eBay for $3,000. I'm also going to give away a couple battery packs from Anchor, so all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, leave a comment down below as to what you're going to be doing this summer or what you're looking forward to. And lastly, drop a like on this video and when we hit 1500 likes, I'm going to pick some winners in the comments section below. This video is not sponsored at all, and when it comes to comparisons in terms of the charging time and the capacity, these are tests that I personally conducted myself using the iPhone 7 Plus as a reference device. Therefore, it's not a scientific test, but it's real world results that I got from testing the same things on all four battery packs. So with battery packs, what you have to know is that the capacity that is listed on the box is not what you're going to be getting. With any sort of power transfer, which in this case is the transfer of the battery pack to your smartphone, there's going to be a loss in energy during that transfer process. So in this video, I've tested two things, including the total capacity of the battery packs based on charging a device, and secondly, the rate of which it was able to charge after one hour. I've also left a set of guidelines down in the description section below that gives you information as to how I tested these batteries and the measures that I took to keep it as fair as possible. I'm going to start out by talking about each battery pack on its own before rounding everything up as to what I believe is your best bet when it comes to performance and value. The links to everything will be down below, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I got here is $1 and I picked it up on eBay and it's called the Power Bank. It's overall very small and when you think about it, there's not many things you can get for $1 nowadays, especially when it comes to technology products. This is one that claims to come in at 2600 milliamp hours and it fits in the palm of your hand. It's pretty close in terms of shape and size to a lipstick case and in terms of putting it in your pocket, it's going to be very easy to do. It's made out of some cheap plastic, but it still feels relatively solid. To charge this guy up, you have a micro USB port, and to charge your devices, you have a standard USB port that has a 5 volt output. There's actually no battery indicators or buttons except for a red light that is on the bottom, and it pretty much goes from red or no light to indicate what this thing does. So although this claims to have 2600 milliamp hours of capacity, you can expect to get that on an actual charge. For my testing, I actually only got 982 milliamp hours of charge after 50 minutes on this guy, so it's nowhere close to its claim, and I also noticed that it got quite hot. I mean, at $1 it charged my phone, but I don't know about the reliability or consistency of this guy, so you're probably going to want to get like 10. It's going to charge your phone here and there, as it did for mine, but it does get pretty warm, so you might as well get a fire extinguisher with that as well before it blows down your entire house. Next up we have the Anchor Power Cord Speed 10,000 that comes in at just over $30 and it has Quick Charge 3.0 and 10,000 milliamp hours of claim capacity. When it comes to dimensions, this guy comes in at about 4 inches by 2.4 inches and 0.9 inches thick. It weighs in at 198 grams and for its size, it's actually extremely portable and does its job very well. Build quality isn't anything special, it's made out of hard plastic and overall feels very solid and I haven't really had any issues when it comes to durability, but it also comes with a soft pouch to travel with. There's a single button located on the side that turns this thing on and also a 4 level battery indicator which is personally what I prefer because it gives you a more accurate reference as to how much power you have left. As for ports, it has a micro USB port to charge the battery pack up and a single USB port to charge your devices. The PowerCore Speed has Quick Charge 3.0 compatibility that has a 24 watt output, so if you have a Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus or any Quick Charge compatible device, it's going to take advantage of that and get you the fastest charge possible. From my testing using the max output of a non-Quick Charge device though, such as my iPhone 7 Plus, I was able to get about 1450 milliamp hours of charge in one hour of charging. And Anchor does state on their website that you get 60 to 70% of charge based on the number that the capacity is at. So you should expect between 6,000 to 7,000 milliamp hours of device charge. From my standard testing, I got about 6,374 milliamp hours of charge on this guy, so it definitely falls within Anchor's claims. The same model is also available in a 20,000 milliamp hour option, and for the most part, it's the same pack, except it's larger, of course, but it also has two USB ports if that's what you need. 
Additionally, if you don't have a quick charge compatible device, you're going to be able to save a few dollars by getting the same model that does not have the quick charge compatibility, but it's still fast and will get you the same charging speed for standard devices such as the iPhone. The Anchor is one that I personally use because I've had a ton of battery packs in the past and this one is just super reliable and the 10,000 mAh model is my favorite because it's just so portable for what it's able to offer. Next up we have the most feature packed battery pack in this video, see what I did there, called the Nomad Advanced Trackable Power Pack and this guy has 9,000 mAh and comes in at $120. The price may be steep for what it is, but you're getting a few features that you're probably not going to find on any other battery pack. Just starting out with form factor, it comes in at 5.3 inches by 3 inches by 1 inch, so this makes it a bit larger than the 10,000 mAh anchor pack, but it has a more rugged feel being made out of a polycarbonate shell and has a rubber TPU lining that has a nice grip to it and seems to have some shock absorbance for it as well. One of the best things about this though is that Nomad has teamed up with Tile to install Tile inside this battery pack, which as you might know are the ones that make the key trackers that I personally enjoy and use as well. This allows you to connect this battery pack to the Tile smartphone app, or in the case that you might have to head out during the day or you're going on vacation and packing last minute like I do and can't find your battery pack but you really need it, you're able to page this guy from your phone and it will start beeping and hopefully help you find it within Bluetooth proximity. This is what it sounds like. As for the ports in I.O., you might have noticed the other battery packs in this video have a micro USB port, but in fact, this one has two USB-C ports, one of which for charging a device, and the other is for charging this battery pack. Additionally, you're still going to find your standard USB 2.4 amp output, which is going to be nice and fast for standard devices, but it does not have quick charge, which is something that the Anchor did have. From one hour of charge, I was able to get 1100 milliamp hours out of this, and when it comes to charging this battery pack itself, this is one of the faster ones that I've seen as it only takes 3 hours to charge the entire thing. The claim capacity of the Nomad is 9000 milliamp hours, and I was able to get 6860 milliamp hours of charge, which is what you should expect. But the Nomad battery pack is probably one of the most feature packed that I've ever seen and you won't find any other with Tile integration which I think is a great feature because I use the Tile app with my keys. So if you're willing to use these features and think that will become helpful then the high price point must be justifiable. Last but not least we've got our holy shit price point which is this $3000 pink generic 12,000 milliamp hour battery pack that was listed on Amazon. I mean, when it comes to dimensions, it's 4.5 inches by 3 inches and 1 inch thick. It's made out of a pebble plastic in this beautiful pink color, and I don't see any traces of even fake gold anywhere. They even went with a plastic silver trim. The power on and battery indicator is this premium silver finish with four blue LED lights that indicate the power. And when it comes to ports, you have two USB ports, including a one amp and a two amp output because they couldn't fit two two amp ports. Lastly, to charge this guy up, you have a micro USB port. But here's the funny part. Aside from the fact that it has no extra features whatsoever and that it isn't made very nicely, the listing page on Amazon has 12,000 milliamp hours on the title and 10,000 milliamp hours in the description. The sticker on it says 12,000 though, but I'm going to tell you it was nowhere near that. When it came to charging speed, it wasn't actually that bad. I was able to get about 1,000 milliamp hours of charging after one hour on this. That was using the 2 amp port, which is the faster one. And in total, I was only able to get 5,467 milliamp hours of charge. So it's nowhere close to its 12,000 or even 10,000 milliamp hour claim. So at the end of the day, unless you really like this pink design, the pebbled look, and that premium button, I don't suggest you buying it at $3,000, but if you do, I'd really appreciate if you use my Amazon link. So now that we've run through the $1, the $32, the $120, and the $3,000 battery packs, it's time to summarize everything and just wrap it all up into one. When it comes to charging speed, the Anchor was the fastest from my testing for both iPhone and Androids. When it comes to build quality, the Nomad wins, but the Anchor isn't far behind as I've had mine for about six months now and it's still perfectly fine, aside from a few scratches and chips here and there. Form factor to capacity ratio goes to the Anchor because even when compared to the Nomad, the capacity is very close, but the Anchor is substantially smaller for what it is. You also have to remember though that the Nomad does have the tile integration, which I'm sure takes up a bit of extra space. So at the end of all this, I'm sure you're watching this to figure out which one is the best value for you. And I can tell you that the Anchor Power Cord Speed 10,000 is the winner. At around $30, you're getting the maximum charging speed for an iPhone or Android device. You're getting a decent build quality, a good battery indicator, an included cable, also a carrying pouch. But most of all, the important thing with battery packs is reliability and safety. 
I can tell you from having anchor packs in years now, I haven't had one fail on me. And in the past, I've had battery packs that kind of just reduce capacity over time and also had issues with USB ports falling out and just stupid stuff like that. So I think if you want to invest in one good pack, the anchor is the one to go, whether it's a 10,000 or 20,000. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy this video and there's going to be many more that are summer themed coming up. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below as to which one you've had before or which one you prefer. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you